Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to our next poem, Any Woman by Catherine Tinan. Catherine Tinan's Any Woman. At first, we have to know about Catherine Tinan. Catherine Tinan, she was born in 1859 and she was died in 1931 and she's an Irish-born writer, not mainly for her novels and poetry. So Catherine Tinan, she is mainly known for her novels and poetry. Okay, and the poem, and the woman, it presents all embracing power of a woman to hold on a family together. So what the theme of this poem? The poem presents all the embracing power of a woman, the power of a woman to hold a family together. So that's this poem present, Any Woman by Catherine Tinan. So it's a very beautiful poem and it's a very powerful poem. Okay, the poem expresses the sentiments and emotions of women. So the poem presents the express or the poem presents or expresses the sentiments and emotions of women. And women, they are the backbones of the family and of our society. Women, they are the backbones of our family and uh, society. So this poem is presented in the voice of women. Okay, the poem was presented is in the form of a woman. And then she says that, okay, what she says, women, they are the pillars of our house. Okay, they are the pillars of our house. And she says that mothers, they are the precious gift from our God. Mothers, they are the precious gift from God. And without mothers, our life would be dark and gloomy. Can you imagine your home without your mother? I can't imagine my family without my mother. So God, okay, God makes mothers. Okay, what oh, the mothers, they are the precious gift from the God. And without mothers, our life would be dark and gloomy. And mothers, they are gem. They are like gems in everyone's life. And mother's heart is made of gold. So pure. Mother is giving us unconditional love. So mother's love is unconditional and pure. Okay. And love or the mother is a timeless teacher. Mother is a timeless teacher having strong power of intuition. Okay. So let's move to our poem. Any Woman by Catherine Tina. Let's have a glimpse of the poem, Any Woman by Catherine Tina. I am the pillars of the house, the keystone of the arch am I. Take me away and the roof and the wall would fall to ruin me utterly. So what you're speaking in the first answer? I, I am the pillars of the house. Who is I here? Mother. Mother, she's the pillar of the house or any woman or any woman. Okay, I am the pillars of the house, the keystone of the arch am I. Take me away. The roof and fall would, uh, the roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly. If you take me away, because I am the pillar of the house, if you take me away, what will happen? The roof and the wall would fall and it would ruin me exactly, would ruin me utterly. So that is speaking in the first stanza. The next stanza. I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the fire upon the hearth. Hearth means tau, adupa. I am the fire upon the hearth or the fireplace. Okay, hearth means fireplace. So I am the fire upon the hearth. I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth, which else were called than a stone. So what you're speaking in the second stanza, I am, I am any woman or any mother, I am the fire upon the hearth, I am the fire upon the hearth, I am the light of the good sun, I am the heat that warms the hearth, which else were called the than a stone, which else were called the than a stone. So that you're speaking in the second stanza, which you're speaking in the second stanza, I am the fire upon the hearth, I am the light of the good sun. I am the heat that warms the earth and which else were called a than a stone. That is she's saying in the first, second stanza. And third stanza, Adomi the children warm their hands. 
I am their light of love while I, without me, cold the hearth soon stands, no could the precious children try. At me the children warm their hands, at me what the children would do, at me the children would warm their hands, and I am their light of love while I, who am I? I am their light of love while I. Without me would happen, without me cold the hearth stone stands, without me the fireplace would be cold, like an ice. Okay, without me, cold the hearth and stands, no could the precious children try. We can't see any precious children there. No could any precious children try without a mother. Okay, that she's speaking in the third stanza. Then in the fourth stanza. I am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring. They are node of love. From close, from close tether, no lost child goes a wandering. So I am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring. So I can place my children in the sacred ring. I can place my children in a sacred ring. So I am the twist that holds together the children in my sacred ring. My, ch my children in the sacred, sacred men's holly, in the holly ring. They are not of love. Not means you tie, you get to bully. They are not of love. I can make a note of love among my children from whose close tether. Tether means rope. Kair, rope, rope. They are not of love from close tether. No lost child goes a wandering. So no lost child can go a wandering without me. Okay, because I can hold my family together in the sacred ring, or I can place my children in a sacred ring. So without uh, no lost cho, no lost child can go without a wandering in the presence of me. That's just speaking in the stanza. I am the house of the from the next stanza. I am the house from floor to roof. I am the house from floor to roof. Yes, I am the house. I am man's mother or any woman. So I am the house from floor to roof. From floor to roof, you can see me. My presence is anywhere. My presence is everywhere in my house. My presence is everywhere. Whether in the door, when the wall, when the floor, everywhere my presence can be seen. So I am the house from floor to roof. I duck the walls, I spin the, and the board I spread. I spin the curtains, woof and woof and shake down to be the bed. So woof and woof it's an idiom used by the poet in those lines. Woof and woof it's a woof and woof it's an idiom used by the poet here. So what is woof? That's it. Okay. Means everything. It's a figurative I type of poet to use it. It is an underlying structure of the foundation of something. Here it is used as a figurative language. Figurative language lana with a poet woof and woof and need use it. It's an idiom used by the poet here. So I am the woo. I am the house from floor to roof. I'm the house from floor to roof. Okay. I deck the walls. I decorate the walls, I the board I spread, I can arrange the boards here, I spin the curtains, I can make the curtains here, woof and woof and shake down to be the bed. And I shake down to be the bed. I can, I can make a bed for them by covering with the soft feathers. Okay, so that's a poet saying in these lines. I am the house from floor to roof, I deck the walls, the board I spread, I spin the curtains, woof and woof and shake down to be the bed. Our last stanza, I am the wall against all danger, the door against wind and snow, though whom a woman laid in a manker, take me not till the children grow. I am the wall against all danger. So she says that, I am the wall against all danger. I will stand against all the dangers to my children. I never, I never gave any other ones to make my children in danger. So, I am the wall against all danger, the door against wind and snow. I will be a door against my children, against uh, the wind and snow to my children. Okay, the door against wind and snow. I won't allow any wind or snow to come and uh, affect my children. So, I am the wall against all danger and the door against wind and snow. Though whom a woman laid in a manger, take me not till the children grow. So this signifies here that the trials and tribulations or the adventures or the problems faced in a family or the faced by problems, faced so many problems. We will face so many problems in our home or in our society. Everywhere we will face some more problems. So the mother says that I won't allow any problems to come to my dear children. I will stand against the wind and snow like a wall or like a door. 
a que do uma woman lead in a manca what is a manca in the manca nu parinadu it's a trough fun it is used to hold for food for animals animals nella food amans food ok kodukkan vendi itla place illa that is manka pul totti nokka nammal parayum le for jesus christ was born in a manka you know jesus christ was born in manka ingal manka la nu jesus christ pul totti nu parayum le jesus christ was born in a manka so do whom a woman in laid in a manka so who is the woman laid in a manka here that is mother mary that means the mother of jesus christ okay but a woman in the parnad aariyana yes mother of jesus christ okay do do who may woman laid in a manga do do means you it is an archaic word you know it is an archaic word do means an archaic word okay do who may woman laid in a manga take me not till the children grow do do here reference do to jesus christ do in the reference are kaanu vannittullathu jesus christ ne aanu parnadha le do whom a woman laid in a manga a woman in the reference are aanu refer cheynadha yes the mother of jesus christ mother mary okay do whom a woman laid in a manga take me not till the children grow so the poor man's in a hopeful prayer prayer okay take me not till the children grow so the poet ends in a prayer tone how the poor man's take me not till the children grow please god please take me not away till the children grow le take me not till the children grow death in all or insignificance ada varunnira significance varunnalle yes take me not till the children grow ende kuttigal valarnu valudagunnathu vareengilum enne devame kondu povalle ennu poitta prarthikkana devathod അങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഈ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള പോം ആൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് മദറിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ട് ഓരോ വുമണിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള വളരെ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ പോം ആൻഡ് എ വുമൺ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഡിയേഴ്സ് താങ്ക് യു